Hi, y'all. It's LaTrice with Purposely Living. Listen, I'm getting fit um, spiritually before I get fit. I'm sitting outside the gym, but I just wanted to talk to you seriously um, and just encourage you and encourage you from a genuine place. There is so much on my heart this morning. And um, whereas I love to get on and and bring encouragement, um, but I also feel like I have a responsibility to be honest. When you think about encouragement, sometimes encouragement is encouraging you to do what's right when you know a person is not doing it. Like the encouraging word isn't always felt to be encouraging. You know, when you have to discipline, that's encouragement. But the person receiving it sometimes don't see it as, as the sugar um, that they want. But it's what they're needed. So what am I saying? I always um, encourage you, especially through Motivation on Monday, that God's word is our manual for life. It is our roadmap. It tells us how to live. And I'm not just making this up, but I wanted to show you in the word just how imperative it is to get in God's word. It's word, when I say it's a manual, if you think about a manual, when you buy a product, the manual doesn't tell you all the great things. It doesn't say this stuff going to blend it up. It's going to be, you can do this. It can do that. You can put it in pulse. You can, that's all the great stuff, right? You're finding out all the stuff that it can do. And you're like, yes, this is the best product. But if you read the whole manual, the manual has a warning section. The manual has a warning section that says, this is what not to do. Not only will you ruin your product, but you could burn it out. Or this is what we not going to cover. We will not guarantee you it if you decide to plunge it up underwater or you do this, which could set it on fire. In other words, to really get the success of the product, you have to read the whole manual. You can't just read how to get it all chopped and fine, but you need to know what could ruin the blaze, what could destroy it, what could burn it out. And so reading the whole manual is so important to the process and the successfulness of use of that product. Well, spiritually so, y'all, God's word is our manual, but we love to read it for, we're going to be blessed in the season and blessed out of season. We go, we love to read it that the word of God will not return void. We love to read it for everything is working together for our good. We love to read, like we have these scriptures quoted, God's love is wise, that nothing can separate us from God's love. All of that is true, right? But this manual has warnings. It has warnings to say, you can. I don't have a plan of evil for your life. But if you don't obey me, there is a plan that is not good. That is of evil. And it's not ordained by God. But you have a choice. I think we forget sometimes that we expect this life. But God says, I will give you an abundant life. But as I shared on Fit Friday, you have to be willing to follow. You have to be willing to obey him. You have to be, at, you can't expect the fruits of something. If I'm looking at, I'm just saying, um, I'm just going to use Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry's life. And I take his master class, and he says, if you do these things, I can guarantee you that you will have the success. Well, taking his class doesn't give you the success. Listening to him doesn't give the success to believe and say, oh, Tyler Perry, I know you saying this. I'm going to be a great actor. You got to do it. Are you willing to write? three hours a day, like he said, are you willing to practice in the mirror, reading it out? Are you willing to volunteer your time? Like there will probably be things that he will say, do this. And it, that's where we fought. There's an action. And I'm using that because I hear God just encouraging me to remind you, you have to follow him. If you love God, you obey him naturally. So my husband can say, I love you all day long. But if everything Javier does is to hurt me, he knows to talk to me a certain way hurts me. He knows that I'm allergic to nuts. And so every day she put like, are you trying to kill me? Like my point is who says they love you. And then they do everything that could put you in the hospital that could bring you harm. That could, that don't say love, but that's how we treat God. Lord, I love you. God, I worship you, but you hurt your neighbor. You won't pay your tithe. You won't do what he's saying. Y'all, the word of God is our manual. The manual is not just the good stuff. The manual has some warnings. The manual says, hey, stay away from this. You are God's product. Whether you believe that or not, you are. He created you. He knew you. 
Now, that has to be revealed to you. But for you to walk, we trying to figure out, oh, everything not working the good. The Bible said this. Could you be out of order? The product can't work. You got to read the whole manual. Why isn't everything working? Are you in a are you in disobedience? Are you doing things contrary to the word, but you want him? Y'all, we have to read the whole manual, the whole Bible. And let me give you an example of how real this is. Now, I read Proverbs 1 so many times, but I read it in a message version. And listen how plain. I want to read some things and want you to hear, because this is the manual too, right? This is the manual. We love to say that we're going to be like that tree planted by the river, a fruitful harvest, in season and out. God is going to do, okay, but let, read this. First of all, the title of Proverbs 1 in the message version says, a manual for living. That's what it says. But hear what it says. These are the wise sayings of Solomon who wrote, David's son, Israel's king. That's who Solomon was. Written down so we'll know how to live well and right. Y'all, that's what the manual is. It's to guide you. When you buy a new product, it's to tell you how to get it pulsed, how to get it smooth, how to get it. It's to guide you. And so is the word of God. Now hear what it says. To understand what life means and where it's going, a manual for living, for learning what's right and just and fair. Guess what else is to do? To teach the inexperienced the ropes and give our young people a grasp on reality. Y'all, this is the word. You tell me the word won't get you fit. This is what the word is. We trying to figure out what's happened with our young. They don't even know. They don't understand the things of God. But who's teaching them? Who's concerned about your seven-year-old? He Who's concerned about your five-year-old living holy? Who's concerned about your teenager? Not where they college application, not that they're going to make six figures. Y'all, Ecclesiastes tells us that's vanity. Vanity. But do your kids know Jesus? Are you making the word of God applicable to their life? Are you making it important to their life? More than giving them a successful college experience, more than giving them, we got to make God relatable. Make G, let them know who Jesus is, the price he paid. Why is this important to your college career? Why is who Jesus is important to who you are as a young adult? Why is who Jesus is important to your fourth grade life we have to make the word of god stop telling them live holy go to church you know what does that mean what does holiness mean break it down for them let them know that it matters how they live because those concept there's consequences and we don't want to talk about that jesus is love he is but there's things that he's promised when you love him which means you will obey him and we got to take the whole manual. We got to read the warnings. We got to know how to work it. We have to follow the steps. You can't, if the manual tell you to put water, a little bit of water into your blender, then put your fruit. You can't say, I like it chunky. I ain't never put in water. So when yours burn out after three tries and now you got $75 going down the drain, you can't come up with your own steps. The manual told you the steps. How you going to tell the manual how to blend the food? Did you create the blender? But that's how we do God. God, you don't know. This how you live my, this how I live my best life. Okay, you your source. So then when you reap the consequences for being your source, we looking like, what happened? Where's God? Let me go back to the manual. So we got to give, it says to teach the inexperienced ropes and give our young people a grasp on reality. There's something here also for seasoned men and women. So whether, I don't care your age, you can still learn from the manual. It says, Fresh wisdom to probe and penetrate the rhymes and reasons of wise men and women. Get fit. Y'all don't believe get fit is real? Oh, she always talking about Jesus. Here, listen, I'm now at Proverbs 1 and 7, message version. Start with God. The first step in learning is bowing down to God. Y'all, that's the word. Only fools thumb their noses at such wisdom and learning. It says if you want to learn more than signing up for a master class, more than saying I'm going to get with this person to learn six figures, more it's not even to say education is bad, but you start with God. Lord, I want to do this. I believe you're calling me to do this. God, I'm acknowledging you so you will open up the door. 
because some of our education is to make us feel good. But the Lord said, I'll teach you all things, but you ain't willing to sit in my presence. Now that education you ain't willing to do. We'll pay a thousand to five thousand dollars to say that we got these initials, but you are educated fool. You are okay, you a doctor, but you can't even you can't even balance five thousand dollars. You can't even stay out of debt. You can't even treat people right, but you got all these initials. But that don't mean anything. It says when you start with God, he will outsource. He will give you the things that you need. Education isn't bad, but did you just ask him, is this the road, the path that I should be on? Let me keep going. Verse eight says, pay close attention, friend, to what your father tell you. Never forget what you learned at your mother's knee. Wear their counsel like flowers in your hair, like rings on your fingers. Dear friend, if bad companions tempt you, don't go along with them. Y'all, this just straight wisdom from the manual. If you try to ask me why, Sharif, the Bible tell you, I keep telling y'all, listen, and I'm encouraging you. I know I am. I'm very passionate about this. But y'all, the Bible encourages you. It's telling you, this is why your children, you don't think the word of God, uh, it's, it's too deep. When we get old, I'm going to teach them about God. No, you better put themselves in front of them while they 10 and 9 and 4. You know why? Because guess what it's saying? Child, it's talking to Langston, Miles, Olivia. Listen, bad companions will tempt you. Don't go along with them, Langston. Don't go along with them, Latrice. Don't go along with them, Miles. Don't go along with them, Olivia. If they say, Let's go out and raise some hell. Let's beat up some old man, mug some old woman. Let's pick them clean and get them ready for their funerals. We'll load up on top quality loot. We'll haul it home by the truckload. Join us for the time of the life. Y'all, this the word. Message version. This the word of God. It says, our friend, old friend, don't give them a second look. This wisdom. This how you teach your children. Baby, don't do it. If you're in your friend and they said, y'all, we can, I know this man, they got 10 iPads. Let's hit them up. We can resell them for $600 a piece over here and get us some fast money. The word of God is saying, tell them, don't do it. Don't do it. What else does it say? Don't listen to them for a minute. They're racing to a very bad end, hurrying to ruin everything they lay their hands on. Here go what the word say. Nobody robs a bank with everyone watching. But how many people you know do that? They don't rob banks when it's closed. Some people actually go out. The word of God telling you that's ignorant. Okay, let's keep going. Nobody robs a bank with everyone watching, yet that's what these people are doing. They're doing themselves in. When you grab all you can get, that's what happens. The more you get, the less you are. This the word. This the word of God, y'all. This the manual. The manual has warnings built in for your safety, for your child's safety. How many people you think in prison wish somebody would have sat down and told them? So how many people wish the bright idea they had to make some quick money? As the scripture just said, whereas you thought you was getting all you could, you got less. Not only did you not get the loop, you lost your life. They paying a life sentence. They family suffering. They children suffering. Y'all, we can serve, we can save people if we be honest, but it starts in the word of God. We got to teach our children. We got to teach ourselves. Some of us can't listen to our parents. Our parents ain't taught us nothing, but the Lord is saying, that's not an excuse. Get in my word. Joshua says, meditate day and night, not just quoting it, learn it. And begin to abide by it. Y'all, I just want to encourage you today. I know y'all probably like she on 10. I am because God is real. And I'm so passionate about this work because I need you to understand. I'm not here for you to like me. I'm not here hoping that, oh, I hope I get 10,000 likes from this. I don't care if you don't like it. What God holds, holds me account of, accountable for is being honest. Because this same word saved my life. This same word helped me to not be somebody's hoe out in the streets. This same word protected me so that I wouldn't get STDs. And, and I'm not trying to be mean, but that's the reality. I had a mama and a daddy that in season and out of season, they gave me the word. And so I had to take hold to this word, y'all. I'm coming back.